Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting with Bella. In today's video, I'll be doing a baby shower corsage. And the theme for this one is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This was a request that I got and I already made one, which is this one here. I just wasn't sure if, if it was for a boy or a girl. So I decided to make one for a girl now. So these are the materials that I'll be using to make this corsage. And I'm gonna tell you guys the measurements really quick of the ribbon that I'll be using. So this one here is 7 8 wide by 8 inches long and I'm using 2 and I just added that gold ribbon on the side which is this one here and this one is 3 8 wide so I'm using 2 of these and then these here are 5 8 wide by 8 inches long and I'm using 2 and this one here is 7 8 wide by 8 inches long. This one is 7 8 wide by 4 inches long this one is one inch wide by four inches long and then this one is seven eighths wide by three and a half inches long and then this last one is five eighths wide by three inches long and I'll be using four of each. Then these cutouts that I made with the Cricut machine, I made this cute little baby and I just added the little rhinestone on the bow and then I'm using the circle and I'm just gonna glue the baby like this. I'm using a piece of felt, a glue gun and a glue stick. And then these here, I'm still not sure if I will be using them, but I'll just show you guys. This pearl mesh. And then this here, and it just says twinkle twinkle. And then if I do use it, I'll probably glue it onto this. And then I have some stars as well. So those are all the things that I will be using to make this corsage, so let's get started. Okay guys, I'm all done and I did use other um, stuff that I didn't mention in the materials. So I'll let you guys know right now. I did use the Twinkle Twinkle, but I just didn't use the little white paper that I said I was going to use. So I didn't use that and I used these little rhinestones, these here, and I just added one on each star. The other thing that I used were these double sided adhesive dots. And I used those for the center so it could look a little bit more up and it won't be so flat. And then the pin in the back, I always forget to tell you guys about this. 
So I hope you guys like this idea and I'll show you guys really quick both of them. There you go. Again, I hope you guys like it and if you guys do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!